here we are again, uh, my YouTube friends. Um, and I'm very happy. If you look at my last video, I had a disaster with me air pumps that I was using. I'm very happy to say my new air pumps arrived. So in a minute I'll take the camera and show you. I showed you last video where it goes up there. And I might be able to show you me putting it up there. If I can't, I've got a bit of a crook back, so my uh, son might have to put it up there on the mezzanine floor for me. And I'll have to show you after, because he's not he's not interested in being on a YouTube video. That's just the way he is. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to cut that open and unbox it and let you have a look at the one I've got. Because I can tell you, they're bloody heavy. These ones there, heavier. Um, they were 100 litre. And I had two of them. They lasted about six years. And one of them I rebuilt again. So, but I do believe it's because of a bit of a red dust problem I have here. Um, but where I worked to, I did talk to a uh, fitter. And he said that uh, it would be in my best interest to uh, basically add extra uh, filter to my lines and maybe use a water trap, but as in the cats of dust. Um, because I do get, uh, being a big shed, I do get uh, through the uh, gaps up there, I do get a bit of uh, the odd red dust when, you know, summer and it's blowing and the South Australia will get dry, you know, even though it's wet now, maybe it's winter. But, um, oh, it's well packaged. I think I said the, the other day, I think this is how you can answer the resale. And um, it's supposed to be low noise, I'd appreciate that. And I suppose the neighbours would too if it is low noise. And that was a LP60, which does 70 litres per minute. As I said, I always work on the proviso that uh, every uh, litre per minute is an outlet. And at the moment, and I probably will rub more in here. Like my uh, wife's not in the ear shop there. Um, but I run 57 just in here. And I've got another shed set up. With another shed and ponds out there. That's got a uh, Petworks pump over there. And that does about 35, but that's enough for over there. And actually, Petworks one, very quiet, very efficient. Very impressed with those. Pity. They didn't do a bigger one because if they did, I would have brought it. Pet works, if you're listening and you do do a bigger one, let me bloody know. Hit me up because I reckon you'll come pretty good, very quiet. But I'm going to see how quiet this one is. And uh, yeah, actually, we've got an outlet on the caravan there. Before I put it up there, we might be able to plug it in, I suppose, and see if we can uh, hear it or not. But they are actually advertised on the box. Low noise air pump, so. And tip by a couple other things I can show you. <laughs> See, we're doing a little unboxing here, I suppose. Coming up to my 60th birthday in a week or so, so I, I spurged out. And, well, they, my wife actually bought this for me, 60th birthday. It's not often you get an air pump for your birthday, is it? So thank you, dear. So, what else have we got here? We got some fittings. I hope it bloody fits on the size hose that I've got up there. Pretty confident it might. Oh, there's another one of these. It gets you. They give you these things here on a lot of these now. What have we got there? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen outlets. Now, my eyes. That would choke this up. 70 litres per minute, 14 outlets. So what, what's that? That's roughly six, six times it. I suppose, what's that, 42? No, probably five times it, something like that. If my mass is right, per litre. So, yeah, right, I'll just put that down here. 
Oh, I hope we can read on here. I don't know if you can see that. We've got that in camera shot there. It'll tell you. It's only uh, 50 watts this one takes. Uh, my last pumps took 80, so that's a good thing for the run of battery banks. But you can get the 100 watt one, which is 140 litre, and then you can get up to 250 litre. That's, that's, that's nearly like those big blowers. I'd hate to be lifting that up there. So it might say how many kilos this weighs. It probably does elsewhere, but. Uh, I suppose we can just plug it in the side here and I can hear how noisy it is, I suppose. If I'm a mezzanine floor, I've got a bit of like uh, matting stuff up there, rubber and matting stuff to keep it quiet because it can reverberate on there. Good word, reverberate. I'm not sure I can spell it, but I'll just put this air pump down here, this one. They've got to be rebuilt. Uh, Drag this up here a bit and plug her in. For a big pump, not very noisy. Not sure it's any different to those ones when they were new. After I rebuilt one of those though, very noisy. So maybe I didn't rebuild it properly, I don't know. But yeah. So I shall um, show you a couple other things I brought. I wasn't gonna do this video today, but the whole three things I ordered only well, I only ordered these about Monday, yeah. I mean they do say shop locally and sorry for bagging all the shops. But a hell of a lot of shops don't have what you need anyway. And you've got to order off of eBay. eBay, you know, especially Australia, we're a big country. In two, three days you've got it at your doorstep, you know. Although where I live, I've got to go to the post office, but that's okay. Now we've got uh, three pet shops. I live in a little town called Napperby and Port Puri is the closest one to us. We've got two pet shops in there, plus the big pets domain. And not one of them would remotely even sell the good stainless steel valves. And I don't know about you, but I only use stainless steel valves. Only time I ever use cheap ones, if I'm caught out and I have to and I can't find them anywhere else. So I had to order online those. I got the right size drill bit. And I'll put a few more in over there where the shrimp are, instead of using a little, you know, one of these things that come out there with about five outlets or something on it, five or six. I'll change that over. And now the other thing I brought, which, once again, I'm sorry to all you shops that uh, sell Peco Caves or people that make a living out of making black okay is good on you. If I had the time, I'd probably make some too. But the cheapest version and best version in my eyes, and I, I breed plenty of plecos. I've used these before, I've done videos on them before. Hopefully they're not broken now, I'm gonna open them up and show you. But, here we go, I'm getting there. Yeah. I'll probably be broken now and gonna do an unboxing in front of everybody and I'll build them up. Half time it's twenty dollars or more for a um a pleco cave. Now these twenty four dollars or twenty three dollars for a pack of four. Terracotta water and spikes for plants. The plecos absolutely love them. The babies can get right up into this pointy bit. They're bloody hard to get out when they are, but they get right up there where Dad doesn't squash them and the eggs are up there and he can fan them. But, you know, well, the eggs don't get laid right up there because Mum can't do that. So he can fan them, keep all the fungus and everything away and predators. 
but the babies then can hide right up in there. Now I brought eight of those. I've already got probably 20 odd in my tanks. Um, now I've brought eight of those extra to put in my tanks. Um, might not be doing them today, might be doing them when I finish night shifts on Sunday. Um, so I've got the uh, valves, I've got the new pump. Um, <coughs> so where are we at next? Alright, I'm going to pause that and get my son to put that uh, pump up there for me. <coughs> Alright, no worries. Ah, oh, back again. A little bit of a, <coughs> a hiccup there. Uh, had to say goodbye to my son and thank him very much. Uh, so what can we do? So the 12 volt one has been turned off now. The free sun pump is up there. And you can see that little bit of red dust. That's what's drawing in. It must come through the gaps up there. I've, I've, I've really got to do something about that. It's probably not helping the pumps. Turn the 12 volt one off. That one's going. And now that 12 volt one was only 35 litres. And if you've seen the last couple of days, it was barely doing it. Now all the air's coming thick and fast through all the outlets and the biofilter and the swirl, which they 100% need it. The biofilters and uh, especially biofilter to keep that uh, good bacteria alive. And all the outlets up this end that weren't. Uh, the air wasn't getting to so now I'm probably going to have to go and adjust a heap of outlets like that's uh, Madaka they don't need that much air they really don't uh, there's my uh, shrimp mutt one they don't need that much air either I'm going to have to adjust those so that just proves as I said 57 outlets um, these don't have outlets because Basically, they're filtered through these and run back in the tank. I've got these ones off at the moment because there's a, a winter spawn of uh, Roukens in there. I'm not working on them too much. I'm just going to let them go because a winter spawn, I don't know how they're going to go in the cold temperature growing, so I'm just going to let them be and drop a bit of food in occasionally. So this is what normally happens. Goes in here and then um, you see it dripping back down there into those big IBCs and back through so and that's normally their air and there is some air stuff in there but these are all working again now so there is plenty of airflow as I said I'm probably going to have to go through and adjust some of them because I turned them up but I might just leave them for today and let them have a good old dose of air pushing through them but look at that so that is a 70 litre per minute pump I think it was LP60 I think that's what they said on there resun. so looking at this it's well and truly doing the whole 57 outlets in the shed and I don't know if you can hear anything through there maybe if I stand closer but that's the only noise you can probably hear the bar sprays and the bubbles at the moment. But uh, yes, plenty of air coming through. So, without a doubt, my theory, I believe, of uh, one litre a minute uh, per outlet, I would say is pretty well right if ever you want to work on it, that theory. Um, because that does 70 and I'm going to have to turn some of these down. I've got 57 outlets. So, gee whiz, I could at least put another 13 tanks in here. Hmm. Once again, I hope my wife's not listening. So, these are where I'm going to put some more outlets up here. Um, to do these. Because I don't, I, that there is actually supposed to be to fill up when I get an order to put a bit of air in sometimes. And I've just got that running off of there and I'm gonna change that in a minute. So, but everything else looks like it's doing fine. So, okay, 
at the moment. Resun looks pretty good. I'm just going to have to uh, wait for a few months and give you a good overview on it. But uh, I'm pretty impressed with that and it's less wattage. We'll see how they last. I'll probably be a bit more diligent on cleaning the filters. Probably do that once a week now. Um, and just have to look at uh, cleaning some of that dust up there, get it out of the way. All right then, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this content or stuff that I do in the shed, uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell if you want uh, to be updated when I drop something new. So, yeah, this is uh, Jeff from Goldfish uh, the Ghost Aquariums. Uh, I'll leave you now and I'll catch up with you again in uh, probably the next week. We'll see you later.